going on hot stuff. You're fucking all good there. Yeah, I was just, I washed it for the first time in a while. It's looking it lush. looks great. It looks phenomenal. It, it looks bloody really good. Really good. Really, really good. <laughs> we were just forced to eat some moist chocolate cake by Eddie and Burmo. I'm as full as mum on Father's Day. I'm not flat that out again. Fucked. I am flat out fucked. <laughs> oh, my Auntie Jerry's calling. Who? Sorry, Jez, I'm on the bloody potty. I Your love Auntie you. Jez. Auntie Jerry. Love you, but I got I got a nag it. Have you got an Apple Watch, mate? Uh, sorry. Yep. Yep. Sorry. Just just looking at my Apple Watch ding, out. Ding 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 ding. Closed all three rings today. What are your rings set at? Um, ten roots, <laughs> seven whiskeys, mm-hmm. and four fights. Yeah. Closed all three of them. Ten roots. Yeah. You're going all day. Right, nah, mate. One an hour. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, not all day. Just a that's, couple that's minutes. Three minutes. But still ten. Mm-hmm. Did I say seven whiskeys, four blues. Just crushed it. One today. mud cake. That fucking mud cake, bud. I didn't want that. I didn't want that mud cake in my mouth. They forced it in our throats, and it, I, I, mud cake's my favourite cake. But, but I didn't want it. You did. You really did. You, really you were very peer pressure. And everyone was chanting, "One of us, one <laughs> of us." Because obviously the boys celebrating their 500, 500 episode. Uh, fuck me, cunt. <laughs> five hundred episode of Hello Sport. Five hundredth episode. Very good. Mm-hmm. Five hundredth episode. Five hundredth episode. It's a, almost what's a tongue twister. A, what's a, what is a tongue twister? Let's really fuck the bedwetters off and do it. Um, like. Seashells, seashells on the seashore. He sells seashells on the seashore. He sells seashells on oh, the seashore. How much wood could a woodchuck cut? How, how much, much wood, wood could, could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Whoa! Um, Let's gather around the campfire and sing no. our campfire. No, 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 no. Do you remember the song from school? Fish and chips, yeah, fish and chips make me want to lick my lips. Eat them for breakfast, lunch and tea. Fish and chips are for me. That's a very Louisa Dalton in her own brain song. No, that's a real song. I remember singing it at College Street Normal. Deal? I've never heard that before. Maybe well, it must a, be maybe a New a Zealand thing, song. Because yeah. fish and chips are obviously big in New Zealand. They're big here too, but. Not as, it's a New Zealand thing. Same no, as you guys trying no, to cl- it's claim it. It's a British thing. No, no. Are you guys trying to claim the pavlova as well? Have the fucking pav, mate. Back off. Have the pav. Marmite's better than veggie, mate. That's some fuck shit. It now, is. Now, you, 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 you did that on your story the other day. I got That's a lot of hate. That's some fuck shit, mate. I got a lot fucking of hate. Fucking Marmite. Fair income. Marmite is way better than veg. It's like sweeter. The texture's way better as well. It's like creamier. Veggie mite, you're like, don't get me wrong. I get around a round of veg still, but Marmite is tear. It isn't. I'm a big fan of the Promite, just quietly. Everyone kept DMing me saying to try Promite. So it's it's protein Marmite. Well, I don't fucking know, but my nan just always used to have Promite in the house. And I was like, Ma, we need to get some Promite because it's the shit. So, but is it protein based? Because, you know, Marmite. It'd be the same as all the others. I just, I just call it, I don't know, it had nothing to do with protein. Why is it called Promite then? Why is it called Vegemite? Why is it called Marmite? You know what I mean? Lugal. Promite has more sugar than Vegemite. It's slightly sweeter, but yep. it's essentially the same thing. Yeah. So it's not even a fucking protein spread. No, but what's Ma then? Marmalade. Well, why is it Marmalade, Might then, Lou? Ma, because it's made by Mom. Marmite. <laughs> Veggie's made by the vegetable gardener. Yeah, you those are, see that. This is why I think people prefer my theories. I those are your theories. Well, everyone seemed to enjoy when I said Pitbull was a lyrical genius. That that split the that split the fucking mob down the middle. I reckon it was definitely seventy thirty to me. That's you know what that makes me realise how many fucking dickheads there are in the world. Like just how many dead shits there are. You've never seen Pitbull live. You can't say that about the pit. What, so you, because I've, seen, I've never seen someone live, I can't say that their lyrical content is toilet, mate. You can read them online or listen to the songs, but it has nothing to do with a live performance. He might be a great performer live, but he's not a lyrical genius. We, there's no dispute. We at the mate. Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Phenomenal. You've been drinking again. No. You've been drinking again. No, I haven't. Day. I'm high on chocolate mud cake. Pitbull, more like shit bull. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, what were we talking about? Pro might. Oh, yeah. Marmite being bitter. Yeah, that, that's some bullshit. What other divisive stuff have we had on this podcast? Oh, when, all fashion is just for fuckheads. Like yeah. high, high in fashion. That's true. It, that, no, it's not true. Yeah, that is true. Some things I'm like, well, that's bitch. You know who are f- like the biggest dickheads, I reckon, is the the Met Gala Ball or whatever it is. Oh, all yeah. Those but everyone froths it. I, I get around it. You see them arrive and it's like each year, ooh, what are they going to wear? I saw that as like the downfall of society, of society as we know it. Like when I saw Doja Cat like meowing into my, I'm just like, I thought it was funny. See, I just thought that I was like, but she's funny. She's taking the piss. Like she's taking the piss out of it. Oh, Meow. Is that what she was doing? Yeah. Well, then that she's fucking Jared chick. Leto was dressed as a bloody cat. Was he? Yeah, full cat. Jason Derulo found out fell down the stairs one Met Gala. Did he? He tri- full blown trip like the doof the doof the doof. Really? Like. Head over heels. He's a good dancer. Was he just doing a flip dance move? No, nah, he was head over heels. Like dum, 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 dum. I'm trying to think of a Jason Derulo pun there, but I couldn't do it. What's his songs? Fuck! I should know this. Jason Derulo. Name a couple of his songs. What you say? Mm, that you ah. only meant well. Mm, what you step? <laughs> there we go. Nah, he's got, got this. What's that banger one he does? Hold on, Dior. Talk dirty. Yeah, talk dirty to me. Yeah, okay. Talk dirty to me. This is too much. Floor's dirty. T- floor's dirty to me. Because he fell down the floor. It's dirty. He's flipped. Yeah. Another one. Uh, I hadn't heard any of these. Uh, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle with it. Take you dancing. Take you down the stairs. Uh. Savage love Savage love dun, 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 dun. That oh, was yeah. that TikTok dance Yeah <gasps> Yeah. And the trumpets, trumpets. There you go Riding solo <gasps> Oh yeah I'm riding so- I think that was his first one Yeah that was I got a couple of stair based puns out there But no I think the bedwitters would have hated that There was a lot of singing from me mm. It's never good when there's a lot of singing from Lulu, is there? Well, some would agree with your thought and some would disagree. And that's the beauty of the bedwetters, mate, the beauty of the podcast. It's the beauty of life, Jar. Isn't that correct? You can agree and you can disagree oh, mate. and the world goes on. Isn't that correct? Say co- lovey. Oh, Caesar day. Cousy, cousy. cousy. Salmon, salmon, potato cake. Risotto. With mushrooms. Number three. Custard square. Kind, kindness and forgiveness. Live, laugh, laugh. It's like I'm, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Josh isn't double camo today. Where is he? Where's he gone? You know what I thought today? I'm in my trackies. I'm in a nice nice shirt, little T-shirt, my cam- camo hunting jacket, camo Crocs, socks tucked into the trackies. I just thought I'm I'm feeling a comfy body today. Com- comfort is key. You know. Your track pants are awfully tight. They're almost tight. Yeah, they're good, these ones. Why do you like them so tight? Oh, it shows the outline of your cock. Cups your balls nicely. Cups your balls nicely. Shows yeah. the outline of the blue vein custard chucker. So when you're walking around, people get a good sense of what you're working with. Blue vein custard, custard chucker. chucker. Question. Yeah. <laughs> what have I sparked? <laughs> this isn't appropriate to ask. Well, fuck, welcome to the right podcast for that. <laughs> I know. It's mm. a bit itch. Fuck it. If it's too much, we cut. If it's not, we keep. Did you stuff something down your budgies in the... This is the biggest compliment of all time. <laughs> no, Judge. The reason... I didn't. I didn't. Wait. Wait. The reason I ask is because bedwetters were commenting that. Were they? They were going, nice stuff of like the sock down your Judge. Yeah. I, I swear on everything sacred to me and, and who I love, that's all natural. I wasn't... I Whoa. Wasn't. <laughs> I don't go. That's a pearl. I wasn't looking. I genuinely yeah, yeah, just... Yeah. Was <laughs> the bedwetters asked a Lulu. <laughs> Oh, guess Trust what? Me. I went through a fair few comments. Didn't see one of them. <laughs> Don't put this on the bedwetters. Mama Bear one spotted the, something. One of the bedwetters was like, nice <laughs> sock down there, Josh. Oh, cute. So then I had to pause it and zoom in. <laughs> no, I'm That's kidding. what I all those it. screenshots were on your I'm phone. Kidding. I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh, mate. That's my, my fucking, uh, that's my, my day. Well, I can confirm, all natural. But let me give, let me give some credit to the Navy Diver. 
Uh, so he makes those those budgies, those dick stickers, mm. and they they lift you. They up. accentuate the the package quite nicely because budgies, I guess, are very um, in your face. Oh yeah, we don't we didn't have them in New Zealand. So when really? I first came to Sydney and I saw everyone in Bondi Beach and budgies, I was like, this is this is a lot. Really, it's, it's hard not to look. You kind of you don't, oh no yeah you yeah. don't know where to look, mate. But even when you grow up with them, it's still you're looking. Doesn't matter. What 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 is it? Is it no tan lines or? I don't know. I think it's just become a part of our culture. Because I'm definitely a, a board short girl. <laughs> oh, no. I don't oh. wear. <laughs> You're imagining <laughs> me at the beach in like three quarter Roxy boardies. Oh, mate, I, your my, eyes. My whole wash world. The fuck, Lou. I was trying like my whole world imploded. I'm like. She can't be a. I was like, what? What? Like, I was imagining you literally walking out of the beach, like, rashy on, board. I, actually, I can picture it now. No, <laughs> I'm a board short girl. No, well, I'm at a, age eight, I had three quarter Roxy boardies in a tank. I fucking respect that. Mm. I was too, I was rocking something similar. Mm. But no, I'm very much a bloody. I'll ro- it just depends on what I'm doing. If, like, I'll rock them both. I, I just. Uh, classic Venroy board shorts for me. Yeah, but you, you're a, you're a prissy, prissy motherfucker. I'm not I? really. I'm like, gonna when go it comes for to blokes and that. You like them prissy. No, <laughs> kind of. What do you mean? Like just like a like oh, you know, it's a couple have broken the mold, but like you just like them. Um, you're the finance pros, dude. Yeah, but I'm staring away from that judge. You're not, sugar. I'm going to. That's uh, yeah. I'm taking I'm, some me time, but I'm going to steer away from the finance pros. Yeah. Stay away from establishment. Yeah, I've also... Stay away Ryan's bar. I've also heard junkies saying this is their last hit. <laughs> Guess what? Tappity tap. Mama wants some hera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, trust me. Mark my words. I'm going for like a like a carpenter. Consider them marked. Well... Mark my words! Like Harry Potter, Voldemort. The mark! The <laughs> mark! You don't want his floor any Mark! <laughs> no. Like Mark. Well, Harry when Potter he, got but a when scar. does he say? He doesn't say Mark my words though. No, but the Mark. But he doesn't even say that. Yeah, but. So you uh, just made it up. But it felt right. It didn't, but. It did. I'm the bigger Harry Potter fan and it felt. You know, you, very you probably right. weren't and now maybe are. I'll go to nine and three quarter platform when I'm in London. Yeah, cute, as if I wouldn't either. But I've also read the books through four times each. I've seen the movies at least yeah, 12 have times you read the each. Books? No. You haven't read the books. And you're t- trying to tell me you're a bigger Harry Potter. You've, you've only seen the fucking movies. You know, movies well, are I only about, uh, got into reading about eight years ago, and I wasn't going to read them at 20. Why not? They're fucking brilliant. Because they're for 12 year olds? Mate, they're for, I'm sorry, but. The, the, the Harry Potter phenomenon, if you're a true fan, you'd know when it was sweeping I'm, the world. You're not. You've only watched I'm the movies. A, I'm a very Jesus big fan. Christ. Dior, I dressed you, up as Harry Dior, Potter to a party oh, once. Oh, su- sweet, sweet. I bought the full Gryffindor outfit. Oh, sweet. You've dressed up. Dior, can I just get a fucking impartial third party here? No, because you guys gang up on me. Dior is so objective Mm-mm. in situations like this. Can you call yourself a true fan of Harry Potter if you haven't ever read the books? Let me ask you this, Lou. Do you know who Peeves is? <laughs> the the map. Nah. <laughs> One of the best characters. Wasn't even in the films. Yeah. Not a true fan. He's a ghost. Sorry. And he wasn't in the movies. He got cut. And Peeves is in, like... Peeves Why the did poltergeist. Pe- poltergeist. Why He's did poltergeist. Peeves get cut? Um... Who, because guess J.K. What? Rowling didn't no, like t- him. No, no, because there's so much in the book that you can't fit it all in the movies. But you wouldn't know that because you've never read one of the books, mate. Well, it would be the same as have you? Did you like the Hob? Do you like? Oh, the Hobbit was the first. Do you book like I read. Lord of the Rings? I read them, I've read them twice. Well, lots from that didn't make the movie. That, that is my point, Lou. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to take your <laughs> argument and <laughs> wean it around this way. <laughs> gaslighting you're your now, hero. You're, you're gaslighting me, but you've proved you're in. You're on my side now. Yes. So yeah, you're the, not the bigger fan. You fucking you wore the costume to a party. You watched the movies. Cross sake. But I've seen the movies like twelve times each. Cute. Never read the books. Next. What's your favourite movie? 
Of all time? No, of Harry Potter. I like The Prisoner of Azkaban. Yeah, I do love Sirius. I like um, The Goblet of Fire. I also like that. That's, That's a, a fun good one. one. When he eats the Five's fun. pretty good as well. The last two are the very Phoenix. dark, but very. they're still good. The, I like the, the earlier ones are better because it's still like the light shit. You know what I mean? They're, yeah. They're going the, on adventures. The last two, like, potentially wouldn't watch Home Alone. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. But, you know, we know how you operate. Yep. Um, your mum picked you up after you saw a dog, you know, safe suburb. Judge, it was you a... You hit him in someone's front yard. It was, it was a boxer. Oh, half an hour. Oh, half an hour. It was um, a big, scary senorita. Yeah, if you'd seen... Look, you this would have merit if you'd literally seen like a boxer, a human boxer out there going, us, 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 looking around Have I crazy. showed you the photo of it? Show me the photo. I reckon I'll be able to determine just on one look through a phone photo on a phone. Why is my phone not? Oh, there it is. I think you'll. This will change your view. Sorry, you're going to tell me that's not going to gnaw my face off. Oh, he looks so sweet. <laughs> Look at him. Just going like this. Me, dude. Fun. I would have. I'd go up to that dog straight away. I go, it's good. Yeah, I go, said you're right, huh? You're like the dog whisperer. I give off scared vibes. They do play to your attitude sometimes, but he looks so sw- I feel sorry for him. Did you? Were you taking the piss when you told me to, that you poked them in the bum to no, scare no, that's, them? No, no, that's true. I told uh, my- they Because they got locked jaw, you shove your finger up their ass. Yeah, I told Dad that. He was like, oh, really? Yeah, your dad also told you that fucking duck, fucking wind breaks children's legs. So, Still sorry, believe, Franco. Franco. I'm, uh, I'm going to stick to what I know from the animal kingdom, mate. Appreciate you, though. Really do. Um, he looked really sweet. But, it, like, put yourself in my boots. If, what, there's some Louboutins? <laughs> like, if you're walking alone on an empty road yeah. and you see a stray dog. I, I would have gone like this. I would have literally gone like this. I would have seen him go like that with his big puffy cheeks. I would have gone, excuse me, senorita. Excuse me, come on. Come on. That's exactly what And then what you I, would have had your face mauled to death. Nah, because you can tell straight away. What would you have done if he had come running to maul you? Grabbed him by the back of his neck and thrown him on the ground. See, I couldn't do that. Yeah, correct. But I mean, I just say I had that a bag of Macintoshes look... to defend me. You know what? That saved you. That saved you. Those goddamn lollies are so it's such a treat that I wouldn't want to risk dying before I got to finish those motherfuckers either. Did so you finish the whole bag? I, I gave haven't you? finished them, but there are. But I've got them next to my bed, and when I'm reading my little book, I put a little Macintosh mm, in as a real sweet. You treat. You like them? I do like. I em. finished an entire bag. Hey, last night and today. Good effort. Well, I like them a lot. That's like a jaw exercise. You know, have you seen those jaws exercise things what people put in? They go to exercise their face. What? I bought some from Amazon. Oh, the jaw exercises? Haven't used them. I should give it a hoon. But, but heaps of people will use them apparently. It's good for you. Could bite meat harder and shit. Oh. You've. Oh, mama, I've caught on. You've. You're just tra- training that jaw, are you? Well, no, no, you, you just said. You were the one who said the thing that sounded like an innuendo. What did I say? You said, train your jaw to bite down on meat harder. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. That is true. <laughs> hey. Well, you, you, you're about to say something. Louboutin is not is different to Louis Vuitton. Christian Louboutin is a type of shoe. Like I think they might do bags and clothes as well, but they're known for these high stilettos with red underneath. Yep. And Louis Vuitton is obviously... Well, they do shoes and jewellery and everything as well, but mainly the handbags. Very confusing, isn't it? Well, I guess it's like Crocs and... Crocs. Crocs and the sock company. Very, (laughs) very similar. Crocs and hockers. What's hockers? The sneaks. What's that? The running sneakers. Hockers. You've never had a pair of hawkers. The only hawking I'm doing is when I'm hawking up a golly. No, Jarts, trust me. I got Bondi 8 hawker sneakers. What the fuck they're are you like, talking they're about? They're almost like platform sneakers. I, I can full Flakers. run in them. I can go for long, long hot girl laps. Hot hawkers. They're phenomenal. For hot girl laps. They're so good. Boys wear them as well. Really? Yeah, they're really good. H-O-K-A. Show me photo. They're great. I'm going to get a white pair for Europe. Hey, hawker. 
Want to send me a white pair for Europe? So the brand's Hocker. Yeah, H O H O K O. Sounds awful like hocking up a goalie to me. I, I don't know if that flies for me. H O K A. H O K A. What did I say? You said O. <laughs> Sometimes I don't realise what comes out of my own mouth. Yeah, I've never They're seen squishy them. They're squishy motherfuckers. They're never really comfy. Them. I got them in all black. Then again, you know, fashion is... Mish me with that shit. Excuse me. Son of my wheelhouse. Senorita, what's with all the reckons? I felt like it. Why are you reckon me like that? It came up through my veins and I thought... Well, you nearly said wheelhouse last pod, so you fucking suck a fat one, mate. True. (laughs) Hey, can we do Google with surfing with glue, though? (laughs) Fuck, are you turning into me? No, because I've just... You just said it... I, I asked you before the podcast whether you had them, and I've been excited about it the whole time. I've got them. Let me get and them now ready I for do, you. Now I want to do is Lulu go surfing with Google Chrome. Okay. It's time for do, yeah. Lulu go surfing on Google Chrome. Nice. You're going to love this one. Sydney man wins cell phone driving case with Lee Snack defence. Lee so Snack. This, sorry. Yep, I've seen this. So this guy was driving, and it looks like he's texting, and he's won the case. He was fined $378, and he's won the case that it wasn't his cell phone. He was eating a little snack. Yeah, hold on. One, one thing before we get delve into this. I know story. what you're going to say. What's with this cell phone shit? What? What's with this cell phone shit? What do you mean? It's What's a mobile that? phone. Well, I was just reading the word here, Judge. It said cell phone. And that's an Australian article. Is that what they call it in America? Yeah. Cell. Got to call me on my cell, man. What's the difference between a cell and a mobile? I dare say we call it mobile because it was like a mobile device, whereas they probably call them cell phones because they're attached to cell towers. Nice, Einstein. (laughs) (laughs) Perfect. Okay. That was really good. (laughs) Really good. Um, I thought you were going to say, why are you calling it a Lee snack? Yeah, and that also that. It's a Lee snack, right? Yeah, Lee snack. Yeah. Um, I reckon he was on his phone, 100%. No, I have saw the photo and I reckon he's definitely Lee snacking. That's and fucking amazing if he's eating and Lee snacking. That's fucking awesome. I saw someone once eating like ramen noodles driving. Really? Mom. Like full like chopsticks, like getting into the ramen. Fuck, that's impressive. So imp- I can't even drive with two hands. I got mates that try and eat ramen. Big fucking nights. They like literally, it's the most crook shit. They put up a fucking iPad, put on a movie, and eat a pizza while they're driving. <laughs> it's like, bro, don't do that. That's illegal. That is illegal. Send that's your highly rater. illegal. Send your rater. Send your rater. It is illegal. S- it is illegal, isn't it? It is highly illegal. So he got off. Yeah. That's how I got on my good behaviour bond, is that two fucking cameras caught me on my phone. Naughty little bitch. And a speeding, but fuck, it drops you. It's like five points. Mm. Um, another article I found. I hope you know I'm not going to like news.com.au for these. Like I'm going to crazy, wacky websites. Oh, man, you're a wacky chick, I'm, man. I'm, I'm good at my research. Yeah. If you didn't know, I worked in Breakfast Radio for many years, so I was a producer. Oh, you were Breakfast Radio? Yeah, so I was a producer, which means a lot of the behind-the-scenes content came from me. Oh. Jess McNally will listen to this and say majority of it came from her. Yeah. But at least 10% was from me. Well, if it mostly came for you, it would explain the ratings dips. Now, what's the second story we've got? Dip shit. Wrecked. <gasps> Lulu. Lulu. The second story, world's most expensive ice cream costs $6,696 oh, per serving. What a fucking wank that would be. A Japanese, <clears throat> oh, sorry, it's in Italy. I was going to say, if it's made out of fucking... It took 1.5 years to develop. Who decides it's going to cost $7,000? Because I can tell you that much it didn't cost $7,000 to make, Jack. No way. Okay. With some cream and whipped butter... Whatever and the flavoring. fuck it's made out of, yeah. yeah. Well, I dare say, this is my theory, that it's labour cost. If it's taking 1.5 years to make, then they'd say, well, what would that cost? How are we going to sell this in order to make up for our labour? You know what I mean? Mm. Why are you smiling? Because I just remember this time when I was like five and we milked some cows. Is that it? <laughs> That's the anecdote. That's the whole thing. We we went to the farm and I was like, fine. That's the whole thing. 
full milked cows. Like they were going, walking around like the machine. And we, like, yeah, buddy, I worked in a dairy. Yeah. Well, That's just your a, whole anecdote. Because the ice cream made me think, oh, I remember when I was five, we made ice cream at school. And I think it's a lot, of, I think it's got, See, I think it's got a lot of butter in it. Anyway, we like churned it up and we made the ice cream. And then I thought, ding, ding, what else did I do when I was five? I milked, I did milk a cow. We went to the farm and I, <laughs> I got to milk. Yeah, well, I'm waiting for the, like, the punchline or the, the good part of the story. What? Just that I was five and I, I milked a cow at a farm. And you've decided to tell that to us, to all the bed with us. As an anecdote, that you nearly couldn't speak because you were laughing so much. Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're telling me? Yes. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you get the fuck out. You don't have but a can th- you no, imagine you, no, no, me on. pulling on the arts? Yeah, you were the wristy queen at high school. It never left you. All right, <laughs> kid. Yeah, obviously, something stuck with you, didn't it? That's all Mama wanted to do in high school. <laughs> the old wristy queen. <laughs> hey, Mama, I've swapped the cows for the boys. I've interchanged the cows for a couple of bulls. If you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Highbrow podcast. This is what we do. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Jill. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> well, listen, you know, that's not well, a bad I, nickname to have. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Come there on. could be other things. It could like, be a lot worse. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I yeah. thought you were going to have a go at me for bringing up me milking a car. And I was thinking, let me have a core cool memory and have a laugh, you grumpy fuckwit in the corner. No, no, I was pulling you up on that because that was some dog shit story. I had to come in with that brilliance and save it. <laughs> it was very funny. I keep pointing my finger at you today. It's very aggressive. I don't know what's happening. Feel it's like, like a wand. We're at Hogwarts. Oh, God. Hello, Hamora. Enough. Another story? Yeah, that's bullshit. That ice cream costs them that much. Yeah. Five-year-old girl milks a cow. Oh, bit of the news. <laughs> Welcome to like something that would happen every day somewhere. Sorry, this is going to make a noise because I'm opening it on TikTok, but I know what it is. Yep. Guess what? Bunnings is trialling four-day weeks. Are they? Bunnings, low, low prices, low, low weeks. But not. They'll be open still seven days. Well, obviously. But they're four Everyone day week for their staff. Bunnings 24-7. Staff will work fewer days and get more annual leave. So, sorry. That's Sorry, fine, just Luke. moving through so I can get to the core information. Where was it? I knew that well, there was a Well, you couldn't turn your phone Here down. We go. You couldn't turn your phone down. <laughs> so, they'll do a four-day week. Fuck me. Or a nine-day fortnight. Annual leave increases from four to five weeks. Wage to increase of 10.5% over three years. You know what? Bunnings for mayor. Good, good on them. Good on Bunnings. That's grass. Low, low prices, low, low weeks is their new motto. Is it actually? They better not get rid of the sausage sizzle if they're low on staff. No, you want to be high on sausages. You know what fucks me off? Okay. So I need to stop pointing at you. No, it's a very aggressive. It's very aggressive today. It, it really grinds my gears that Rose Bay Bunnings doesn't do sausage sizzles. Yeah, shock horror, mate. You know, it's not in their fucking wheelhouse. It's really not in their wheelhouse. And it's a disgrace. It is. That's what people... That's the, that's the Bunnings experience. That's the whole... A Sanger. They're fucking good too. There's just something... There's something iconic about just a bit of white, white bread, mm. a sausage, and some Marty. See, I love, like, your classic Bunnings sauce, but then I also love, like, a good quality one. Like, one time, an ex-boyfriend of mine, oh, yeah. and I... What? Yeah, good quality sauce. <laughs> we went to like a really fancy butcher and got like three different flavors, cooked them up, and like rated them out of ten. It was a. It was Gee, Lou, geez, you're killing it with the stories today. Holy fuck! What, what a yarn, mate! It, it was a you, great afternoon activity. You just told. And then we went and kicked a football around. Oh, whoa! And then we went and kicked a football around. Hey, Bedwetters, did you hear that one? Another absolute belter. That sounds like a good arvo to me. Tell you what, I had a fucking pretty ripper um, arvo the other Sunday. I went to um, I went to Coles, and I bought some tortillas. That's the equivalent of what you've just done, buddy. But the way I tell it, it's nah, got, it's got a pep in its step. Nah, touch. nah, it doesn't. Agree to disagree. Uh, uh, Agree to tops? disagree. 
Reckon those were a couple of dog shit stories? <laughs> oh, sorry. They didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> At all. At oh. all. Love you, like, but yeah, I just, I was waiting for the, especially the milking the cows thing. I thought there was something else coming there. Yeah. Yeah. It was just cool memories. You said you guys wanted to get to know me a bit more. Well, here's some memes. I milked a cow at five. And you went to I, a supermarket. I went to a nice butchery and got three really good quality sausages and then kicked a football. Is this, this is, this is bottom of the barrel shit, isn't it? This is scraping. On to the next story. If this story? is where the podcast, we've peaked. We've peaked. You think it's down from here? Yes, Lulu. You just told a yarn on a podcast about getting three sausages. You told that. But they were good sausages. And don't, don't give a fuck. <laughs> it was this like is... a lamb and rosemary. I think they might have even been like are You something... are still telling me. <laughs> Get off it. Stop. <laughs> you keep going on about it, mate. It's fucking... Just one more. I think it, there may have even been like a, a pork and peach or something, like oh, fruity. Oh, I'll be fucked. Oh, I'm at, oh, it was oh. a great day, Jarch. It's a core cool memory. Oh, good on you, mate. Hey, Bedwetters, call in with any of your really exciting stories. Hey, you know I'm starting that Great Australian Yarns thing. Fuck, I've just found one. You should get me on. Even though you're a Kiwi, I'd love to have you on, mate. Spin the same I think, yarn. I think that'd be a good idea. You got another Google Ghost Chrome? Yes. Chromie? You'd wanna. Hang on. You'd fucking wanna. Holy fuck. <laughs> well, now I'm nervous to tell any oh, stories. I would be too, buddy. Because you'll go. I'd buck up. Well, some, this, someone in a workplace office has put a padlock on their milk. Is that workplace pettiness, Judge? Yeah, okay. I was going to... You are worried where I was I was ready to walk. You are ready to walk? I was walk? ready to walk. When I heard an office, and I was like... Oh, no. Oh, God. A, a an printer, office? A, a, an office in North Sydney, their printer broke. Yeah. And a technician came in. No, he did. And he fixed it. The bathrooms were closed for an hour and a half due to a blockage. So the staff had to go downstairs. There was a fire alarm at 9 till 9.30. <laughs> That's the sort of shit I'm coming to expect here. Sorry. Now... This is good. Yeah. So one of the co-workers is sick and tired of someone eating his lactose milk. Or drinking it. Drinking it. Um, so they've put a padlock on it. It's a funky little invention. I bet they got that from Amazon. Fuck that milk. I'll tell you what that reminds me of. This one time I was da- I was at home and dad was like, mate, could you go milk the cow? And I said, yep. And I go out there and milk it. I've done that's, that before. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, have yeah, I've that's the end of the milked home. one at five. I think we also drew paint, like, like don't you dare. stories don't, of them. Don't. Actually, don't. we did. That so was I, that was the point no we went cares. there. No I remember one. it was the point we went there was because we we made picture like storybooks of our time at the farm. Made it more almost more boring. That's that's that is in that padlock thing. That is fucking. How do they? Can you show me the contraption on how they actually padlock the milk? So it's like a little um. It's like a little, like a, it, it like, um. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we've realised something tonight, you and words are. <laughs> it's just, it's just, oh. funny. it's just saying you, I wouldn't even know how to explain yeah, that. Yeah, see? It's, Fuck it's, you. That's why I said show me. <laughs> It's a little um, it's like a it's a it's a and you started <laughs> a little, to panic. It's like a white contraption with it with a lock on it. That's how you describe it. That's actually. So he's gonna have to go to the fridge every time with a key. So it's a special milk lid. Yeah. He should have got it like a keypad one, so you can just type in. That's going a bit far for milk, isn't it? Well, he seems to be pretty. You know, he, you know what would have happened, Jarch? What? I think he went to the farm and milked that milk himself. I think so. <laughs> I re- I respect him. It's three dollar milk. Yeah, fuck it. I'm over it. Actually, I'm agree with yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. I think you. it's shit. Finally, we agree on something. But what? anyway, back to the sausages. Yeah, were they good? Where'd you cook them? Which one did you have first? Give me my phone. No. Yeah, what else have we got on here? No. Oh. No. Sorry. 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 Um. Yeah, that is peak pet. Like, it's milk, mate. 
Yeah. But do you know what would probably happen? They'd know that Terry was really fucked off about his milk, so it'd become an office joke to keep drinking his milk. Yeah. You know what they should do is get a little knife and cut a little hole in the top so they can so just it squeeze leaks. it out of his milk. No, so they can oh. still have his milk. Oh, and he'll go, God, I'm drinking this quickly. Yeah. He'd be like, what the heck, man? Yeah. Anyway, that's me done with Lulu Glow surfing. I reckon that's done of Lulu Glow surfing for a while. I disagree. Yeah, I reckon that segment's taking a break. Taking I a break. feel no, like those I were think good you need to go and have a good hard look at yourself. Those were good stories. With horrific anecdotes. The, the articles so, were good. So, okay, you can keep the segment. Just you, you best You best come with some better anecdotes than you milked a cow once and you had three sausages for dinner. Next time. It, De- sorry. Just come on, agree with me here. It wasn't dinner, it was an afternoon snack, the three sausages, just by the way. The, the timing is irrelevant, Luke. Just, just you clear. Have had it just for clear. Breakfast or a midnight snack. I'm just clear. I'm just clearing up the time that the sausages were had. It was an afternoon snack. Let's move on. You, you, you pick what we do next. I'll just sit for a bit. Uh, you know what? I think I need some characters. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I need some characters. I had three sausages. <laughs> we're not doing characters. Let's get, what have I got here? Okay. No, I'll, I'll, I'm ready. I'll be good. I'll re- I'm ready for them. Okay. What's a character theme song? We need a little intro for, you, for your characters. The characters from Louisa Claire Dalton. Yep, I like it. It's giving king vibes. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Hey, you better slay these, Queen. I will. All right, you ready? Ooh. Just check your phone, mate, yeah, while we're doing the podcast. Um, okay, characters for Lulu. You're a Russian scientist that's just discovered a new element. Okay, I don't want to tell anyone what the element is yet until I am 100% sure that this will be better than titanium. <laughs> okay, let me just work out. Ding, 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 ding. Aha! C'est la vie! It is... <laughs> coal! Coal? Coal? Okay. Look, it's not so much about what you get right in them. It's more about how you envelop the character. I, I took you on a journey there. <coughs> you did. Good. You did. So you didn't want to – you wanted it to be better than titanium. So a super strong metal. And so that you've, you've developed oh. coal. Yes, Jack. So for sem- similar purposes or what were they different? The coal was for uh, everyone's Santa sex who was naughty. Or should we move on to the next one? Yes, please. Right, let's do that. You're a ringer up north trying to wrangle a Mickey bull and all the r- other ringers are watching you. Whoa, whoa, stay back, farm hands. I've got this one. All right. Out of the way, everyone. Oi, interns, back off. This is how it's done in the, the real farms. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. That's a That's a lasso, people. Got it. Oh, hang on. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. Put him in the pen. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Love that you had some actions in yeah. there. You, you really do. Definitely watch the YouTube for this one, guys. Yeah, you're developing as an actor. Thank you. You're an opera singer trying to hit the high. This one's for the bedwetters. You're an opera singer trying to hit the high note, but it's, oh, it's just not working or not. An opera singer. Trying to hit that high note. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I don't know what it is, but I just cannot get the high note tonight. What, you're saying that in front of the crowd? No, I'm behind the scenes. No, you're not. You're on stage. Oh, okay. So you've got to be giving it all you got. Time to say goodbye. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> sorry, one more time, everyone. Time to say goodbye. <laughs> Sorry, I think I'm coming down with something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not bad. I'll give it to you. I like Thank that you. one. Um, <clears throat> you're an influencer discussing baby names with your influencer partner. <sighs> I don't know what I'm feeling like, but... It's giving apple. Like just the way that the head is shaped, it's 
It's giving apple or vinyl. Or maybe cord. <laughs> cord could work. <laughs> What's a partner say? Uh, I don't know. I feel like to me it's more of like maybe like a stool or <laughs> golf club. Yeah. Or even just club. Can I? Has she just looked at a stool and a golf club here? Yeah. <laughs> We're in the in studio. The cord. Oh, the cord! <laughs> you fucker! <laughs> Vinyl. <laughs> Just everything around oh, the room. It's mm. That is good stuff. <laughs> okay. You're an old timey sea captain and you've just spotted Moby Dick. Do you know what Moby Dick is? Yes, the giant oh, sorry, fucking you, whale. You just look so confused. I'm getting in character. Oh, sorry. oh fuck. God. Yeah, sorry, mate. Are you not hear that Leonardo DiCaprio lived in a bear to... Yeah, pr- we to fucking pr- covered to, to, it. ...to get in character for the Revenant. Well, yeah. I'm getting character for the timeies. Okay. Smail- Old timey sea captain. Yes. Stop the boat! We're not going land ahoy! Is that... <laughs> Is that what I think it is? Holy smokes! We've discovered Moby's dick! It's not Moby's dick. It's Moby dick. You have that Well, we've seen his dick first. <coughs> He's a whale, he was on his back. Well then wouldn't it be Moby's dick's Moby Dick's dick? Yes. <laughs> also, I was in character. Land ahoy means you've spotted land. Well, that's why I said we're not going land ahoy. So we're not going spotted land. Yes. <laughs> oh, I did enjoy that character. Mm. I thought you were going to go a bit more. Like, yes, uh, a bit more than the one from uh, Jack Sparrow. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. <clears throat> <coughs> Don't be get angry at me because you see, Captain, wasn't 10 out of 10. You've been very mean, this podcast. You've been very fucking annoying. Freedom of speech. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? How long have we been going for? It feels She's over too it. long. She's over it. Is it an hour? That was one of the great comebacks. 40 minutes? That truly confused me. I, that was one of the great comebacks. Cause <laughs> I didn't know what. I'm I still don't quite you. know what to do. I'm gaslighting you from afar. Yeah, am I being gas? Light a match. Oof. Gaslit. I've got one. This is, but I'm just going to tell you this is going to be tough for you to embody. Okay. <clears throat> You're a heavy set eight year old that's just snapped both Achilles tendons because you tried to run after an ice cream truck in your suburb that wouldn't stop. I'm doing two characters here. Okay, I respect that. Character one. Stop! No, no, no more ice cream. Slow down. <laughs> You'll never catch me, Mum. Oh, doof, oh, doof, doof. <laughs> no, there's a curb. Boff. Mum. <laughs> You've snapped your Achilles tendons, remember? I can't. I can't get up for the ice cream. Can you get it for me? Oh, I still wanted to. No. Louisa, you need to go to hospital. Just get me the ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay. That was good stuff, Lou. I'm proud of you, Bravo. buddy. Bravo. Oh, dude. Bravo. You've still blown me away with that freedom of speech yarn that you've hit me with. I don't know what that meant. I don't know what it meant either. You didn't. It just came to it's your just mind. just a word. A mm. phrase. Should we do the hotline? Yes, please. Howdy, Bedwetters and Sparks. It's um, Lucinda here. Listening to episode 47, Flickin' Boogies, um, with my window rolled all the way fucking down. I'm at around 42, 43 minutes in, and you guys are fucking doing accents, and this car next to me is looking at me like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this chick listening to? And I have just made eye contact and slowly put the fucking window up. Um... Anyone else fucking get these locks? <laughs> I can imagine that would be a very awkward eye lock. Yeah. Yeah. They get a couple of looks to bed with us. They get a couple of looks to bed with us. Because it... What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Sorry. 
<laughs> it's late. <laughs> she's she's upset about the shitty stories, and then she's, no, she's were, reverting to childhood. They, you thought they were <clears throat> shitty. The Tom's bid, agreed. The bedwetters might disagree. I think we both know what's going to come, don't we? The wave of abuse. We don't, we both know that's coming. I think I know the title of the episode. I three milked a cow. Yeah, or three, or three, three sausages. Snacks. Yeah, three sausages. Three sausages feels better. <laughs> I like that. Because that was the most. That was the funnest story. Well, it was a good arvo. Yeah. And we kicked a footy ball around, which I was not very good at. I've got a video of it if you want to see it. That is a very, very brave thing of you to say. Yeah, I actually wasn't very good. No, I, I actually, I was dreadful. There you go. Do you want to see it? Excuse, yeah, I do. Now, who's this new Lulu we've we've discovered bedwetters? Mm. You want to see the video? Yes. Of me kicking? Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. And then swipe across. You are. Terrible. Oh. Can't catch either. And if you go one more, there's a photo of the three sausages for you. Just if you wanted to see. It also says the flavours. Doesn't it? Read them out. Read out the flavours, Jarch. Come on. Everyone wants to know. Smoked chorizo. Yep. Pork and fennel. Mm-hmm. Lemon and rosemary. Okay, so it wasn't peach. I just, it wasn't peach at all. I, yeah, I don't they know why good, I didn't though, pull you they? up about that. No. They do. Now, I've just got to watch this kick again. It's not very good. That is fucked. Mm. That is one of the most fucked things. I'm just ready for we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll pop it up. <laughs> Oh, holy shit. How? How are you so I've bad? I've never really been coordinated with ball sports. Oh, shit. Mm. Holy dooly, mate. That's a <laughs> We'll pop that up on the YouTube so you can watch the video. Also, maybe we'll chuck that on, on the story. I think so. That feels right. It feels very right. Or if that gets made a video, we'll put... The, yeah, whatever. We'll fucking figure it out. Mm. Bad weathers. Good day, fuckers. Um... Look, long time listener, first time caller. Actually, no, that's bullshit. I have called before and you haven't fucking put me on the podcast. So I suppose I'll keep trying. Um, look, I did call to give you an absolute fucking roasting. Not going to lie, the last couple of episodes have been almost impossible to listen to. Yeah. Um, I just want to fucking reach through that rodeo and grab that little Kiwi cunt. Just get it now. Um, not really, but I actually imagined when I called that you would answer like the phone and then I got a bit shy. So anyway, you know, I pissed the bed till I was about 14, so I'm a pisser from way back. Um, love the shit. I do laugh still occasionally. So, um, yeah, I suppose I'll just, we'll just keep trying, hey? Anyway, keep pissing, cunts. I'm slightly terrified. <laughs> That's I'm slightly afraid. Um, I feel like if she saw me in Rose Bay, she would trip me. No, no, see, that's I think the opposite. Because the way she said just kidding, it's like she's got a lot of love for Lou. You reckon it would be like a, I'm going to strangle you and I love you. Yeah, probably, it'd probably end up in a kiss. Like an, like an older sister vibe. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, she's saying it's just friendly banter. Okay. You know what I mean? That could turn into a kiss, maybe. Sure. Maybe. If you you can kiss her if you want, <laughs> stop breathing so loud. <laughs> oh, that's, that's find fu- one more. Let's just find the next one. <laughs> can we just find this next one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? What the f- Hey, Daniel Readers, how's it going? Just driving home from night shift and um, got a bit of a red light, green light for you both. Fuckheads who drive a little too close to the speed limit, you know? 100 zone, but we're going to drive 98 the whole way. Red. Anyways, they could at least go 106, 107. 100%. You know what I mean? Anyways, ciao, ciao. I know exactly what you mean. No, if it's 100 k's, you can't go over 100. Oh, fuck off. But you can't. It's illegal. Oh. No, but Judge, it's illegal. How did I start a podcast with you? But that's why you don't have a license. Good point. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do you mean, mate? It's literally the reason you don't have a license. <laughs> no. You dumbass. No, hold on. She's got a phenomenal point. Pete, when it's 100 and you're sitting there on 98, you can go at least 106 and you won't get pulled over. 
But how, I don't really know if I'm going 98 or 100. So per, close to the thing. N- nah, bruh. It's, you can tell if someone's if you, under. You should be a, always over. You've got a fancy car that sees how fast you're going. Gianni, I just got to judge on the little ticker. Oh, what? The fucking speedometer that tells you how fast you're going. Yeah, but at, at 98, how are you going to see the tiniest millicentimetre? Let me how you can tell. If it's be below the 100, you shouldn't be going that fast. It should be over the 100 every single time. That's how. If you're going 106, the reason is you don't have a license, mate. No, that's not the reason. I was going way faster. <sighs> Someone's got a need for speed. <laughs> Naughty little bitch. You did make a great point. Yeah, I did. But, but that also, she made a great point. One more. Okay. Hey, Judge, an eight-year-old mixed fatty over there. James here from down in Auckland in Bedwetter OG, listening to it from day one. Now, sorry to burst your bubble, Lou, but you're more likely to die from a koala than wind from goose's wings. One that got me thinking, though, what would happen if Pinocchio said his nose is about to grow? Let us know what you think. Anyway, when you're down these ways at the pub, we'd love to have a crawl one with the judge. Just make sure you have a chin and Lou, if you stay away from the karaoke machine, it would be much appreciated. Double worked. Keep pissing, boys. Lada. Double record. When he said the Pinocchio thing, is that because obviously Pinocchio's nose grows when he lies? Yeah. So what would he say if my nose is about to grow? It, well, hold on. If it, Ugh, this is two idiots trying to work something out. Tobs? <laughs> not three idiots. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Damn it. Tobs is smart. Because... What was so? What would he say? What did he say? What did we have to say, Tobbs? So, what would happen to his nose mm-hmm. if he said, "My nose is about to grow"? Because because whenever he tells a lie, his nose grows, grows. But if he tells the truth, but so it wouldn't grow. Ah, oh, whatever. But if he was saying, "My nose is about to grow," oh, and then it does. It doesn't grow. It doesn't. He's lied, so it so grows. Uh, anyway, that's enough. That's hurting my brain. So it grow. I don't know. But then he said his nose was about to Yeah, grow. so it's a... She's over it. Speedphone's <laughs> off. I'm done. No, I'm sorry, James. She's I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about Pinocchio's nose. <laughs> Thanks for the call, She's, though, mate. I love that. I no, I like the call, but like the tongue, the head burst, like, too... Nah. All right, well, I'll just do this one by myself. No, we said... That- yeah, I just want to apologise no, for my last call. Uh, oh. It was a bit bit over the top. Uh, but thank you, Jarch, for bringing it back around. Uh, it was pretty good. With, but, uh, yeah, it's like someone broke into my house with a chainsaw and chased me. <laughs> oh, I'm in tears. I think there was one before that, in maybe. Tears. That thank you. Love you. Play. Good night. And I haven't done that. What was that? I think I haven't done that live. I think so. It sounds about right. You're not very good at this. Should have left the headphones on. So he was being mean to me? No, I think he was maybe complimenting me. I actually don't know because I must have accidentally started that one. So you haven't done your work as per? Uh-huh. Yeah. You're an imbecile. Okay, let's do a pact. Let's do a pact then. What? You come with better, anic- better, better anecdotes, I'll come fully prepped. Stop saying the word anecdote. It's annoying me. Everything's you annoying like, you now. You're tired. You said it like eight times. Get a different word. But it's the word for it. Yeah, but change it. Use a thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's about us, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Really is. It is. I'm done. I've had enough of you, and we have to drive home together. Or you can get a fucking Uber if you don't want to drive your mate. I'm kidding. Are you? you? I'd like to come in the car. Is that right? We'll play our hip-hop playlist. We will, will we? Yes, please. Okay, well, let's do that. Well, if the car's still there because we parked in someone else's car. This is also concerning. So we could both be Ubering home (laughs) to the... The tow tow truck shop. Yeah, (laughs) this could be a fucking nightmare. Anyway, fucking Jachi89 on TikTok, fucking at We Mean Well, and fucking (laughs) at Louisa Delta, and fucking (laughs) Uru. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not in my warehouse to do it any other way. Yeah, and um, it's been a really good podcast, basically because of the shit that I said. And ciao, ciao. Um, yeah. Catch you, cunts.